Okay, today we're going to show you this Okamoto uh, 12 by 24 DX. Uh, they call this one the Grind X model. Uh, but it's a 1224, it's hydraulic, it's a three axis automatic. It's currently wired for 440 volts, 460, 480. Uh, there are some finer adjustments if you need to adjust your voltage, but it's the high voltage. Uh, also has a paper band a coolant system uh, which automatically advances your filtration paper uh, takes a 14 inch sized uh, diameter grinding wheel with a 5 inch bore on the inside it has an automatic park feature and a start the table also the grinding wheel when all the conditions are met, you have a wrap it down and a wrap it up. The cross slide by hand right now. This is very smooth. These are very nice grinders, these Okamoto's, especially this vintage, this series. Uh, so that works really great little very little effort but when you want to do this under power you have to pull that out because there's a micro switch in there and down here are your controls for uh, all the hydraulic functions of the of the grinder which is your stepping motion and your table going back and forth so this is the lever to control the speed of the table and this is a lever to put it either in uh, incremental stepping of the saddle or a continuous continuous movement of the saddle and when you're in the stepping mode uh, this will adjust the size of the step the more that you show of this thimble coming out of the center the larger the step will be uh, and if you're going to change this it's much easier to do it if you shut the hydraulics off because this is under hydraulic pressure and you have to push it in in order to turn that it's spring loaded so it doesn't move but you have to push it in <clears throat> to turn it now, you can't see it, but back here, this machine has been uh, updated with a, a Leeson a variable speed control for the grinding wheel. It's on right now. The grinding spindle is running. If you need it to go up or down with your speeds, uh, you could program that in on this drive. Magnet is a nice uh, big 12 by 24 magnet. You've got a switch on the panel here to turn that on and also to adjust the magnetism from very low to its maximum and you have a light here to tell you that it's on so you can just shut it off or you can demag by going over to the left and it spring loads back to the center all right you got your emergency stop button you've got your table start and stop You got an indicator light that the machine is on. This is the magnet. You also have a mode selection, uh, whether you're going to be doing surface grinding where you have the saddle going in and out, or just uh, the wheel coming down in a slot grinding or plunge grinding operation. So it actually has three different operations. Your surface grinding and two different plunge grinding. Each plunge grinding, one has a feeding on left and right side, and one only feeds on the on one side at a time so that it's not feeding down so aggressively into your workpiece. Um, these knobs down here control uh, the different variables that the program uh, requires. It requires an increment for your course, a uh, little increment as the wheel comes down, your, your feed. It also requires a point where you go from the coarse feed to the fine feed, uh, a changeover point if you will and also a fine feed uh, and then there's the spark out so you have a digital readout on here that when you go up and down you see that moving you could also reset that when you're in the edit mode this uh, mode selector switch puts you in a manual for your all the way to the counter all the way clockwise to be able to use your wrap it up and down 
And then when you go to these uh, next three values, that's for your, your hand wheel here. So what they have there is five tenths, uh, one tenth, and ten millionths. Uh, so you could, you could actually dial in with one click of this, uh, ten millionths each time. All right. The next mode is edit mode. And then this mode down here, the last one, that's actual running mode or actual cycle start. Um, there's no push button that's going to say cycle start or whatever. So for right now, uh, I'm in the edit mode. I go up here and I could put a value in. That's 10 thousands. But I could have put in any kind of a value that I needed to take off my part, uh, right down to the last 10 millions. But just for our video, uh, I'm just going to put in uh, ten thousands and up here is our course increment um, I know that because there's only three triangles as opposed to four triangles so this goes from a thousandth and a half down to a half a, a half a tenth so I'm gonna make the first increment on the number ten which is actually one thousandths and then I'm gonna make my fine feed um, on one tenth this goes from from point uh, from a half a tenth to five tenths. So I'm going to put it on one tenth. And then you change over one, that's the one with the triangles on the top and the bottom, which indicates one going to the other. Uh, goes from a half a tenth up to two thousands. So I'm going to put it on one tenth. So I'm going to feed down a thousandths each time until I get uh, one tenth away from the uh, one thousandths away from the final size, and then it's going to switch to feeding from thousands of feeding tenths. Uh, I'm going to flip this over to the plunge grind so that we can complete this quickly. All right. So what you would do uh, would be using your rapid feed and your jog here. You touch off on your workpiece, you measure it, you find out I need to take off ten thousands. Okay, at this point, if everything else is ready, you go into the next mode, which is the running. So we go down one thousandths each pass until we get to one thousandths. Then we go into the tenths. Now we're at zero already. And we do a certain amount of spark out passes, which you also set right here. Um, the rest of the knobs here, hydraulic uh, pump starting, spindle start, coolant start, dust collector if there was one. Well, that pretty much covers everything. Um, again, you put in a value. You've got to come out of the auto mode, go into edit. You put in a value. Uh, nothing has to change here. You'd have to come back down with your wheel, touch off on the part, and in this case, we're going to take off 20 thousandths. So in order to start that, I got to get my table going, and then I flip this into the auto, and we start to come down, a thousands at a time. The difference now, when you go into the actual surface grinding mode, I probably should slow this down a little bit. Surface grinding mode, we need to flip it over here. We need to make sure that this is pulled out. And then uh, we start it up again. All right, if you forget to take it off of automatic and it sees that it's at zero, it's going to think that it's finished and that it's time to, to stop. So it's going to just stop again on you. You got to put a value in here or you got to put it back in edit. So now I'll put it on uh, ten thousandths again, and I'll start this. So now you see my saddle is moving in and out. Over here you've got a couple of dogs that you set forward and backwards to get your work size there, or your you know full travel. You'd spread them out. But each time it reverses now the saddle direction we're going to feed. So this cycle takes a lot longer. We'll just let it run as we talk. So over here you're going to find your leveling pads. Uh, there's uh, one, two, three, four, five of them. 
Here's there's a, a toolbox with all the tools uh, for taking the wheel off, special wrench. The spindle nut is in here. The spindle nut wrench is in here. The grinding wheel is right here. It's all going to be packed up in a box. Real nice. All right, so that's basically it. You've got a light over there. Uh, you've got a little window up on top of the column here that will fill up with oil. That's your lubrication oil. That's an indication that everything is hokey-dory. Uh, any questions? There's a lot of YouTube videos of me running the exact same kind of machine, uh, at least a half a dozen or more, where I go through all the stuff on this control. If there's still any questions, anybody can always give me a call here. Thank you very much.